Good afternoon. Richard here, thank you for tuning in to do another quick video. Um, what is this video about? Okay, so this video is gonna be a quick summary of the, my camera is wonky. Let's just sort that out. Okay. So this is a quick video. It's really, uh, for me as much as anything, I'm just gonna memory jogger. So I've been doing um, my little series on how to become a better video maker, videographer, um, make videos. Um, and a uh, photographer um, over the last three or four weeks. I can't remember when the first video went out. And it's amazing how much you learn in when you're trying to make a concerted effort to to do something, a concerted effort to, to better yourself, you have to learn. Um, and, and even just by accident, I have learned quite a lot over the last month or so. And I thought that I would just document um, or uh, record all the things that I've, I've written them down because there was quite a few that I couldn't um, remember. So from a video point of view, well, I just wanted to document them down so that as I go through the series, I can see after three videos, I learned this after, 10 videos on that this, whatever. Um, so it's been three videos and the stuff I've learned is quite, I, I'm pleased with it. I mean, I don't do it every day, I'm doing one a week, if that, not even that, one, of the, one every 10 days. But basically Premiere Pro was, I was using iMovie before for all my um, other videos. It was very basic, it did the job, but it was very basic. What it's used for, it's free application, obviously. So it's, it's, it's pretty basic. Uh, so I I, Got a couple of months free from Adobe on Premiere Pro, so I thought I would give that a go, and it is far, far, far more complicated, but such a better program for, for editing and for what you can do inside it. And I'm just learning to do some what brilliant videographers and editors would consider to be simple, but what I consider to be complicated. For example, I have learned how to mix how to mask from one clip to another and it's a simple thing to do um, uh, the camera temperature has risen stop shooting if you are in shoot mode <sighs> something else I've got to learn why is that doing that back in a minute okay uh, it's overheating I don't know why um, I'm gonna carry on and see what happens it might they might die um, so yes, yeah, so I've learned how to mask from one clip to another where you can slide one clip out the way um, and it will put another clip underneath or you can um, do something simple like put text in. Um, anything like that is, is a really good thing to learn. Um, and you can, I can use it in future videos, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased about that. The simple one was uh, using the wider shooting on my GoPro. You get the, the, the curved distortion on the outside, so simple fix with just a couple of clicks, but something I've learned. Um, when I first started, I was trying to apply uh, adjustments to um, a couple of the... Um, couple of the clips going through the uh, through the video I do it all individually but I learn how to apply them over many videos it's just a quick case of highlighting them all and paste attributes which I know sounds simple but you, you either know or you don't um, the biggest thing I think that I've learned that I've yet to execute is to have a cohesive to have a cohesive story to tell to, to give a message across you need to plan and it's hard to most of the videos i've done so far well no not most of them that's not right since i've been doing this one of the videos i did so far the last one was with my little boy and it's hard to plan ahead and stick to it when you've got a six-year-old running around with you and that's, and that's fine yeah he's he doesn't care um he just wants to have fun and i said i at six but i think it's to go out on my own have a story have a message to, that you want to get to at the end and plan how you're going to get that message across and be able to 
implement the message from the start even though the message may not get across till the end know what you're getting up to know what you're building up to to make sure that it's a told story and people get something out of it at the end of the video that is going to be the biggest challenge and that's what storytelling is about so from learning to shoot video that is the the main things that i've I've learned over the past month or so. In terms of photography, for some reason, everything I shot has been in JPEG. It just made memory cards go further, it made uploading go further, it was just holiday snaps, it was just... Okay, overheating, where was I? Overheating and cut out. I think it's because of the, well, it's because it's in 4K and, um, it's because it's in 4K and the, um, the battery is really warm, so I've swapped batteries and let's see, see if that makes a difference. So where was I? I was talking about my the photography side of it, yeah. I'd shot everything in JPEG up until now and it was fine. You know, it saved, like I said, it saved on memory space, cards, it saved on uploads, blah, blah, blah. What I needed it for was fine. Uh, what I've got to get used to, sorry, is I've got a little video screen down below my camera to see what I'm looking at and I can't help but do that and look at the video screen to make sure I'm being shot. Um, and the exposure is right, but I'm really really gonna try and practice doing that and talking to you guys So what I was saying was that the video uh, sorry the um, photos were shot in JPEG when while it saved me on space saved me on uploads um, It meant I could flick a photo over to my phone and, and get it on social media if I wanted to when I was traveling But it didn't really lend itself to doing some serious edits. So I am now shooting everything in raw because I want to make some good edits, I want to do some good, some banging photos, I want to get real good photos out there, so um, everything is now going to be shot in RAW, so while I kind of knew that already, I think I was being a little bit lazy and asking the camera to do a lot of the legwork for me, which has stopped from a month ago. And the other thing that I learned, I was out last week, if you haven't seen the video for episode 3, I'll put a link, and it's, we went to shoot some, there's a falconry display at our local parks, and I used my uh, 1DX Mark II to try and get some, some great photos of the birds and I messed around with the focusing areas and I learned about the the focusing areas within the camera, what they do. Before I just stuck on centre fixed and, and shot what was running at me is what I do for a living. Um, but I did decide to use it to, to, to experiment and do it something differently and you know I learned, if nothing else, I learned the menu functions. I've still got to learn how to use those menu functions and, and how to get the best out of each of those functions. But I know they're there. I know how to get to them. I know what each one of them does. And I now just have to make that better. So, you know, there's half a dozen things that just in four weeks I've learned. And it's, it's a massive plus for me to be able to spend this time to do that and, and to try and better myself. So that's it for today that's all i want to say i just you know it's as much for myself to document this journey as it is for others that want to watch it so if you are watching it and you have made it this far and i haven't excuse me bored you senseless thank you um like and subscribe um subscribe to the channel please hit that subscribe button it will be great to have you along for future videos come on this journey with me and i will see you in the next video